One of the most important parts of any website, but definitely the website in this class, is your navigation menu. Think of the navigation menu as a roadmap for your website. What you put in your menu is an indicator of what you have identified as being very important about the content of your website and what you imagine might be of interest and of use to your potential audience. You will notice that all of the WordPress templates that you might be using this semester contain a navigation menu that has either three to four to five categories in it. These categories represent the skills and dispositions I've been asking you guys to think about a lot in this class. My argument is that these are things that you've been developing during your time in college, and I want you to be able to articulate that to other people and demonstrate it. Ultimately, what you'll need to do in this class is remove the fake categories that I put in the navigation menu in your template and replace them with ones that actually make sense for you and the reflections that you've written in this course. So why is all of this important? Because the categories you use in your navigation menu are going to be the way that you help draw connections between the different reflections you've written this semester and thus the seemingly sometimes random activities that you've done while you've been in college. You'll be making those linkages clear both to yourself and to your potential audience. I wanna be really clear here. Putting together these categories and putting them in a navigation menu and using that navigation menu to organize your reflections, I think is the most important thing that you're doing in this course. So here's one of our templates, white and black, and you'll see the navigation menu across the top. And let's say I click on problem solving. What this website then tells me is that there's three activities that I, as the imaginary student, have been a part of that have been about problem solving. All of a sudden, as the audience for this website, I start to think about how someone who knows how to balance a budget and how someone who's participated in a mock trial and how someone who has learned how to typeset has managed to develop some problem solving skills. Now let's look at the back end of white and black. If I go to all posts, I will see the six reflections that were put into this template. And you'll see that they have been assigned to these different categories. One way to change this is to simply go to quick edit. And here is a way in which you can quickly check off which categories are associated with which reflection. But how do you change the categories themselves? In this particular template, if you go to categories under posts, you will see the five, no, sorry, four categories that I have assigned in this template. You can edit and delete these, or you can add new ones right here. But how you change your categories in any given template is going to completely depend on the template. In this case, I'm in the back end of John Doe. And here, if I wanna mess with the categories, I don't wanna go to posts, I wanna go to portfolios. Here I'll see all portfolios. If I click quick edit, I can change how the categories are assigned to specific items, or I can go to portfolio categories where I can mess with the categories themselves. If you have any questions about how to change the categories in your template, make sure you've looked at all of my help videos and you can always just contact me. All right, so a few guidelines. First, to decide which categories you wanna use in your navigation menu, make sure that you've reviewed some of the exercises that we've done in this course, specifically the open and closed card sorts and the curriculum map. Also, review what I have written at the top of each of your reflections, because I've usually suggested at least some additional categories there. Ultimately, aim for three to five categories in your own navigation menu, and make sure you've followed these two rules. Each category that you use should have at least two reflections in it, and each reflection that you write should be tied to at least two categories.